What's up everybody out there? It's Phil from Crossfire Collectibles. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the G.I. Joe Retro Collection Cobra Stinger. Have a sort of exclusive. Uh, stick around. So here we have the G.I. Joe Retro Collection Cobra Stinger. This is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Um, this just arrived in the mail today. I went ahead and went out and grabbed the package and I got two of these and this one was, two both boxes were in the box that I received. So um, we're gonna go ahead and delve right into it and get this bad boy open. But first, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right. So we're going to go ahead and delve right in and pop things open. So snip the sides. I got to say, I'm actually kind of uh, excited to get this. Finally, another vehicle. So I guess the next up will be the HasLab Sky Striker whenever that decides to ship. So there you have it. Wow, that really brings back some old memories. Looks like they couldn't find a really good high resolution picture, so they uh, kind of see it's a little distorted. Tops and bottoms. No flag points, unfortunately. You got your stinger driver, Cobra officer. Give you a close up of the file card. Puppy open. Two pieces of tape. All right. So we're actually going. We're just going to cut it. Get it open. So my main curiosity is: is the uh, Cobra officer or Stinger driver carded in here? Is that really cool? And he is not. Damn, ain't that something? So there he is. I was kind of hoping you'd get a card with it, like you do with the uh, with the other figures, because that's what we were really after. Sure. All right, so it is a buildable set. And it's got these twisty things that I can't stand. Um, I got some warning crap. There are stickers. Interesting. And got your little construction sheet and blueprints here. Okay. Now, get these cut, get all these pieces out, and we'll get this thing assembled as quickly as possible. I guess we'll go ahead and get the, uh, get the stickers put on too. bag not as uh not as nice as the other stuff that is coming in the packages it's all fancy and everything bunch of stuff in here we got the roof of the of the jeep you got the back piece that the people can stand on you got the ram bar four missiles Steering wheel, two flip up doors, and engine top and turret and all kind of other stuff. And, uh, let's go over the figure real quick. Here he is. Wow. It feels really weird to hold like an old school Joe. I mean, I know he's new and all, but it's still, it's an O ring. Lift it up and get you to see it. Just like an old Joe. Nothing's changed, except for the new plastic and paint jobs. Still, kind of need to have one. Cool. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this assembled, I guess. First things first, just over the main 
chassis. You got the dash here. You get the uh, steering wheel put in. Yeah, it takes a bit of pressure, but there you go. Once it's in, it's in. Slide that zone there like that. I'll try to line this dashboard up in here to get this piece on unless we can just pop it up in here. Make it a little easier. So, put that in position, snap that on. Top one. Right. That's together. Now roll around to the back. Go ahead and get this turret assembled. So we need this piece. Go ahead and slide that on there. Put the back piece on, put a little lip in, and snap it shut. Like so. And your turret is assembled. And then just find a little hole and pop it right on in. Bingo. All said and done. Alright, we'll go ahead and pop the doors on. It's like I almost feel like I'm uh, I'm messing with one of the older ones because I'm like thinking, oh man, I gotta be careful with this one, so I'll break it. But this plastic's all nice and new, and it's ain't that's not gonna happen. It's got some flexibility to it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this front little ramp bar put on. So that's a piece of cake, just in and in, and done. And we got this back piece right here yeah, spinning around to the back you got these two holes take that plug it in one and done all right so uh we'll go ahead and get the driver put in All right, so we got the driver in, and you got the roof. So you have this bit of a lip here. Just kind of put that down in there, and take the front, put that right onto that, and there we go. And then uh, you see the missiles already have the stickers on them. I guess they were done factory style. So pop on one. Missiles are on, ready to go. And then, last but not least, you have the stickers here. So, I mean, put them on them if you want. If you don't want to, you know, obviously you don't have to. So, um, for this, I'm going to need to get my tweezers. I'm going to go ahead and apply the stickers, and uh, we'll cut to the finished product. And I'll also bring out one of the new retro figures to see how well they fit into it. So, we'll be right back. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Crossfire collectible, and you better watch. Now, back to G.I. Joe. All right, guys, we're back. So, here you have it. I got all the stickers put on. Not too bad a job, I'll say myself. So uh, this is the one I wasn't really happy with because this turbo showed that it should go like right here, but considering there's no room because it's showing it right underneath that tail light, and uh, I'll show you on the 
operations here. So if you see right here, it shows it underneath that, but there isn't that much space on that. So I don't know what to do about that. And also on the inside where the driver's console is, it's showing this piece right here. But on the sticker sheet, it's not to be found. Now there's an extra of this piece that's already pre-painted on right here. And there were four extra of the X04, which are on the missiles already. However, only one side has them on. This side is totally blank. So these need to go on here. However, I do kind of like it just on one side, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then you have these right here, which is like an arrow pointing down. And uh, I can't really make out what this says. But anyways, they're not on the directions either. And I don't see them anywhere on the box art. We're gonna go ahead and pop this top back off. And take the driver out. And I brought in a retro Cobra officer. So uh, let's see how well he is gonna fit in here, if at all. Because I'm not sure how they're gonna look. Um, it's possible there's a little leg room, but we might have a bit of an issue, I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna feed his body in first. enough room mm, doesn't look like it that sucks yeah his legs are too long I don't know if we can somehow bend his legs a little bit to try to make him fit Let's see if that'll work as you guys know I'm more of a modern collector I don't collect the, uh, the vintage over and stuff anymore, except just vehicles. And I only do that when I'm like trying to modernize and have some stuff. But, um, I have so many of these retro troopers. I got probably a dozen of each of them. Alright, so. Might have to keep them in there with, like, with a crop top. Because obviously, this is not going to fit. Unless you force it like so, but then you can't see the driver. So yeah. Well, there you have it. He will fit, but he's a bit too big. And the hands are almost perfect for the steering wheel too. Now, considering I have a bunch of these, um, I'm probably going to customize and you know the gray and the gray color to put on one of him. And what I'll probably do is go ahead and take his legs off in just the bottom pieces. And, um, fit him in there like that so you won't see his feet but he'll be in there you know flush so you'll actually be able to see him so yeah go ahead and get him out of here put this stuff back on fold it back up get a nice view all right so here we go we got it all set up nice for you so you can see the box itself the driver, Cooper officer, as they call him, and the stinger itself. Um, real quick before I delve into any more of this, uh, what I used to, I had somebody ask me before, but I actually use a very small pair of fine pointed tip tweezers to do the stickers. So basically you just, I pull the sticker sheet up since all the stickers are nice and new and just kind of push it through and grab the, grab the sticker with these little tongs, lay it on it very gently and then rub it in with your finger so it blends into the, the clear plastic so you see it better. Now, overall, I like this. I actually love this. This is a great, great, great throwback to the old Stingers. Um, box art, you know, the vehicle itself, and even the classic figure. Um, I'm going to keep him displayed like, like this, and uh, I'll probably throw the driver up in there just to have it. Um, I'll go ahead and store the other one away with the rest of my retro stuff, and uh, you know, save it for a rainy day and bust it out and just reminisce on no good times. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Um, overall, even though because it's a retro, I just got, I got to say it, it's great. So I'm going to give it a nine just due to the fact that everything is original that I can see. And except for a couple of the paint apps that have been added onto it. I'm liking the new plastic. It doesn't seem like anything's going to break if you have to press on it too hard. Um, I just kind of wish... I know a lot of fans out there of 
of the O-rings are happy to see this, but I really wanted to see um, a more modern style retro figure to come with this. But probably it's because that the figures don't fit. So that would make sense. But anyways, uh, if you guys did like this, please be sure to leave a giant thumbs up, subscribe, and tickle that bell for future notifications when we post a new video. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Crossfire X Collectibles and everything Daichi Joe. And check out our Facebook at HP Crossfire Collectibles. And until then, we'll see you in the next one. Retreat! 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 Retreat!